Hey guys, Katie Taylor here, and I am back for a video collaboration on creative ways to use cardstock. In today's video, I will be sharing three reasons why I love Close to My Hearts cardstock. So let's take a look at the portion of the cardstock carnival that I'll be using. Here is a look at the gray blue bundle. Now part of the cardstock carnival is that not only are you saving on individual packages, but we've also bundled some together. So this makes it really easy and really convenient for those of you, you know, who don't want a full pack of Seabrook. You can get this package and you get 24 sheets, six of each color. Now, one thing I love about Close to My Heart's cardstock is you have the true color on one side and the lighter color on the other. So you can see here, these are all the same color. It's just you have that lighter side, which I am going to utilize in this video as one of my favorite things about Close to My Heart's cardstock. I'm also throwing in our color of the year, which is melon and again you can see that true color and then that lighter shade on the other side so i have a new project and i am going to insert the double layout that i will be using so i'm going to click on images over on the left and i am going to do a search for fresh paint and then over here on the filters under my stuff i want to check the box that says uploaded you can see here all of the fresh paint icons. Now this is the layout that I'm going to be using. And basically I'm going to just show you what a difference digital collections can do. Because I want you to see how this layout was originally intended for that fresh paint collection versus the color changes that I have made for this layout that I'll be sharing with you today. So I'm going to go to my stuff and here is that gorgeous layout. So just look at the difference there. So basically all I did was I took out the title and I have used the title from the Cosette collection. And then these hearts are even from the fresh paint as well. And so I manipulated those to create some layers using that wonderful two-tone cardstock that Close to My Heart has. Now I've already mentioned the wonderful use of the two-tone cardstock. You can just see here by the same piece of cardstock, I'm able to get two different looks with these. And these are going to serve as my photo mats. And the other thing I love about using cardstock is you're pretty much unlimited on the designs that you can make. Now we all love pattern paper. I have tons of it, as I'm sure you do as well. But just by using a stamp set, this one is a background stamp set. It's called Dainty Patterns. Just by using any stamp set and your cardstock, you can actually create a pattern yourself. So I think that I am going to use these little polka dots because you guys know how much I love my polka dots. And I have these hearts. Now these are on the light side of melon. I'm gonna be using the light side. And I'm just going to line these up and stamp on them, creating a nice little background. I prefer to have a larger block size because it allows me to actually see the borders of my stamp. And then I kind of just know what's going on. This is a background stamp, so it really doesn't have to be straight, but I just kind of wanted to point that out. The other thing you want to be careful when using a larger acrylic block is make sure that there is no ink on your block so it doesn't transfer to your project. But the good thing about having an acrylic block is once we ink this up, we will be able to see that and we can fix it before we make a mess. So I have my melon ink. And again, I have my image on my block. I am just kind of removing that protective coating with the oils in my fingers. And I am just going to stamp down on these hearts. So you can see there a wonderful tone on tone. 
Don't forget to check out the Cardstock Carnival that's going on now through the end of the month of April, where you can save on bundles, individual packages, and we even have our exclusive Cardstock die cut pieces with a UV coating. Now, I am only sharing three of the many, many reasons why I love Close to My Heart Cardstock. So don't forget to follow along on social media and subscribe to this channel to see even more. So there you go. Again, just adding that extra little something. And then that way you can create any pattern that either goes with your projects, your colors, your photos, anything you want. The next thing I love about Close to My Heart's cardstock is its white core. Now that can be for certain purposes, I prefer not the white core or to hide it, but for this purpose, I love it. So I've brought out my scoring board. You can use anything that you usually use to score or dry emboss. Now I'm just going to use the little bone folder score that came with my scoring board, or you can use a stylus if you have one. This tip is just a little bit too skinny and I'm afraid it's going to break the paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. And I am actually going to score around three of the sides, a quarter of an inch from the edge. Now these are 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So this is the light side of Seabrook. I actually want to turn it over where I'm looking at the original, the true color, because I want my score line to actually be on the side that I'm going to use, and I'm going to be using that lighter side. So you can tell the difference. So again, the Seabrook true color size is facing up, and I am going to score a quarter of an inch from the right side and I am starting my little score at a quarter of an inch about give or take and then I want to do the same thing over here and I'm, I'm not going all the way because I'm going to have those little heart borders and then I'm going to turn it 90 degrees and this side is actually going to go from score mark to score mark, so it's going to go the entire length of the cardstock. And then I can always go back to this and really make sure that my line meets. So now I have a raised edge, not sure if you can see that, but I have a raised edge on the lighter side of this. And then where the white core comes in is we are going to sand this so the white core will pop. You can use whatever sanding block you have. It just needs to be a light sand. Again, this Seabrook is pretty much of a light color as, I mean, anyway, so you're not really going to see the pop like you would on a darker color. Now I am on my glass board and depending on how hard I sand, you will kind of see streaks on your glass board, it's scratching it. So you wanna make sure that you're using a surface that you either don't mind if it gets those etch marks in it or that doesn't really respond to sanding. So can you see? That score mark all around the edge. Now you can see here I messed up slightly, but either the hearts will cover that or that will just be a little um, a little measure of interest, I guess you would say. Now we have our two bases prepped and ready for assembly. I did want to point out that on one of them, I messed up and went all the way to the edge. So I just went ahead and did that on all of the pieces. And so instead of starting at the quarter of an inch, I just went all the way to the edge, which is still going to just leave that nice little finished off detail. For the assembly of this layout, I am going to speed this up quite a bit. After all, I have already covered the three reasons why I absolutely love our Close to My Heart cardstock. These heart overlays come from that Fresh Paint digital collection. I have cut these from the Seabrook. Since we are using the light side for the base, I am actually using the true color of Seabrook, and you can just see how those hearts pop against that lighter color. 
You will see a lot of that coming in through my photo mats as well, as I already alluded to that. So I'm just using this liquid adhesive and leaving about a quarter of an inch from the edge and the top and the bottom, which also fall in line with those score marks. When I mentioned earlier that I sometimes do not like the white core, it's usually when it comes into play on my photo mats or either my cardstock edges. And so you'll see here, as you will see on this channel a lot, I like to use ink distressing around the edges. So I'm just gonna do that with all of these photo mats as well as that mist 12 by 12 base that I'll be using for this layout. As I mentioned earlier, I'm using the titles from the Cosette collection. So I am just going to assemble this story part of the title using the backings of those letters. Now, unlike some of the overlays that I've used recently, these letters go all the way to the edge. So that's why I have the white overlay upside down on my mat and I'm applying liquid adhesive to it because I know that those letters will go all the way to the edge. Now using liquid adhesive also allows me to pick it up and kind of reposition it to make sure that there's no edges showing. Of course, we are not perfect, so there are a few edges showing, but I still overall really, really love this title option. So from here, it is just assembling these wonderful photo mats using that two-tone cardstock, as well as the stamped hearts that I have already prepared. I am using the Versamat just to kind of make sure that things are lined up as well as my T ruler off the edge of the Versamat, especially for the photo mats. This is IR actually is the second part to that Cosette title. Now I have cut this out of our black core cardstock. So if you love black cardstock, try our black core cardstock because it does not have that white core. Just gonna add the little dots to the eye using my pickup tool, and then I will start working on that right layout. Before I move on to the right layout, let me go ahead and add my journaling strips. So what I've done here is by cutting my base Seabrook to 11 and a half by 11 and a half, I had these half inch pieces of cardstock. So those are actually going to be the mats to my 3 8 inch journaling stickers that I will add the journaling later once I add the photos. Speaking of the photos, you will not see photos on this layout during this video, but make sure that you check out my Instagram account because I will be showing this layout completed with photos over there. Just expand the description of this video and you'll find all the products that I use linked below as well as my social media accounts. And then of course the creative design team playlist. You'll find that down below as well as at the very end of this video. So you can go check out all the other cardstock videos as well as all of our videos. We add to that playlist every single month. And then anytime that we have any special collabs, we also have playlists for those. So let me go ahead and finish this off with the journaling strips underneath this photo. I will add another journaling strip up above. And then again, these hearts, I am adding some 3D foam tape to the back of those. So these hearts are kind of have double dimension, if you will, since that center one has 3D foam tape and then the whole little bunch has it as well. So now let's take a look at the dimension and all of this wonderful cardstock on these layouts. You can see the tone on tone as well as the photo mats and then of course those stamped tone on tone hearts. Now remember all the links will be down below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe and sign up for notifications so you'll be alerted the next time I post a crafty video. Also don't forget that this is part of a cardstock collab where I am participating with six of my other really, really crafty friends and you'll wanna go check those girls out if you haven't already. Just click that playlist and it'll take you over to all of our 2023 videos. Thanks and have a wonderful weekend.